here's the thing. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, well, yeah. Oh, I thought we were gonna do. Oh. up to the we out here we may not podcast but show but now podcast get ready this video is about to hit over a thousand k because somebody's on this <laughs> let's go dude <laughs> guys i'm here with my husband to the far left i got the juicy latin x latina Ooh. give it up for alex live got costa hey, hey if you know what this shirt's from you cool it's from the band nirvana yeah but it's a specific album cover Obviously, message in a bottle. Yeah, done. message in a bottle. And then I got this husband in the middle. Pets looking kind of bigger than usual. Does he have gyno or is that just working out? Give it up for Nick the ear. Gyno boy. That's my second favorite husband. You know what? Hey, I had. Sorry to cut you off. I had four. <laughs> my bad. Well, that's I had, though. That's I had four people say, "Hey, you should actually make Gano Boy shirts." <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be insensitive to hey, Israel would you, Adesanya. Would you wear that, Vince? Wait, he's not here yet, guys. Right. Give it up for our third husband. Yeah, and this third husband, you know, he he just came off a little sicky, 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 sicky. Yeah. But guess what? He's doing a lot better. He's cutting <laughs> weight. He's cutting the the run of 15 because he's about to fight next weekend Was at Anaheim. No. Give it up for the grandmaster. Grand, 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 grand master. Guys, we have the grandmaster here, Vincent Vera, our dear friend, our lover boy. Some say lover boy, uh, the Vincent, fourth husband. Thank yeah. you for being here, fourth husband. We're a bunch of swingers, aren't we? Thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. Hey, thanks you for wearing some an outfit that doesn't make a lot of noise on Mike. Appreciate it. <laughs> I did not uh, think ahead. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's a high quality sauna suit. It kind of looks like what I'm wearing, but just my. You, obviously, you got yours from Walmart. You feel me? But mine look naive. Bro, that's I a, did spring for the two tone though. Ooh. Oh, hey, never mind, never mind. That's J.C. Penny right there. Bro. Yeah, and they can see me bro. at night. You got the reflector on, and you got the <laughs> zipper, dude. That's a that's high quality sauna suit. I think we have to address it. Uh, why are you wearing a sauna suit? Oh, uh, I, I, I we talked a little bit before we started, but uh, I'm trying to lose that Rona 15. Um, I got the uh, the coronavirus, and uh, I don't believe it. I lost like 12 pounds because let's go. I Congrats! <laughs> lost my appetite. I didn't want to eat anything, and I was. I was uh I was feeling good. I was looking good. You know, I was I was trying to lose that weight for a long time and all I needed to do was get COVID. Let's and go. Then I got Shout my out. appetite back and then I gained 15. So Oh shit. Now yeah. I'm, three over. That shit clapped yeah. back. Well, I'm, <laughs> that was a quick I'm, clap back. I'm kinda yeah. trying to get COVID right now. Yeah, That's yeah, my new yeah. goal. So I can well, lose it again. But I wonder uh, if you can get it back to back, like within like say say right when you get rid of it, like two days later you catch it again. You I, gotta I heard that if I get vaccinated, I could get it almost instantaneously. <laughs> so I'll try that. And see if I could. You want to read? You want to start over? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should, we, should we remind that one more time? One more time. Uh, I actually know something I got three times in fourteen months. That person needs to just stay at home. That person oh does jujitsu. Who is it? Uh, and they train at OK Players Jiu Jitsu <laughs> Club. <laughs> and their name is Nick. <laughs> bro, I got, hey, I got COVID zero times. Me, well, that we know of. Then why are, nah, your ball, why are your balls smaller? Zero times. Why are your balls smaller? That's just the gyno, bro. My bad. Yeah. Well, hey, I got problem. gyno. My balls ain't small. Well, I'm I'm a new gyno guy. I'm a new gyno guy. Uh, Vince, what are your thoughts on gyno? <laughs> You know, I'm going to, I'll share something here I've never shared before. He has it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah. So, so you know how I made that video <laughs> about Adesanya and everything, Gyno Gate and all that? I have a dirty little secret. Um, when I was a teenager, oh God, I didn't know what it was at the time. Oh, shit. So, look, I, I'm not trying to make a, okay. I'm not trying to make a joke of this. This is a very, I don't play around with this hey, kind of stuff. But also keep in mind, we're a comedy podcast. We don't take anything seriously here, guys. So, <laughs> but also keep in mind, I do have gyno. So be sensitive. <laughs> Everybody, boo I'll try to tell the line. Comments. Okay. So I got it when I was a teenager and I, I was terrified. I remember I was crying. How do you know you? I thought had I had it. breast cancer. Oh, no, shit, yeah. Dude, yeah. remember when I had you guys feel? It's big ass hard lumps under your nipples, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, it's terrifying. Puffy, I was like nips. 13, 14. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. The only good thing is I had a cousin that had it too. And I was like, we can't both have breast cancer. Like something's going <laughs> on. No and way. then he told me. <laughs> so, like, and then, so he told me that because he used to wrestle and i guess his coach was like telling him what was going on 
but we didn't, we still didn't know the term for it and all yeah. that. Wow. But it turns out I had it. Like I don't have it now. No, so yeah. I guess it if comes during puberty, everybody has gyno, but it's just like when you grow older, it like goes away, but some people it doesn't. So like, there's like, ah. I think there's like five different stages. I'm pretty, I never got it medically checked, but I've done a lot of research because I've had it since I was a kid, which is probably what ruined my, what ruined me today is why I am the person I am today and listens to the Joker soundtrack on repeat. Jesus. But, uh, <laughs> what they have, uh, it's like five stages. I'm pretty sure I have staged like one or two, but it's just big, hard lumps. And like my nipples are really poofy. They're very suckable though, but <laughs> well, then I have gyno then. You might. I don't have lumps. Is there but, hard lumps? But you've seen my my. They're pretty suckable. My areolas are very <laughs> shiny. <laughs> no, no, your that's areolas lucky. are big. That's different. Yeah, there's actual areolas. lumps under here. But like, if we were to weigh yours, it would not match up to Alex's. Yeah, for sure. There's like, actual lumps. Way, it's it's the glands wish. that like produce milk. The is there a way we could confirm this? You're like this is this yeah. is like 25 grams. This is like 52. Bro, yeah, this guy does meal grams. prep for his body, so he knows about yeah. protein grams. <laughs> this guy's like uh, 250, 250 yeah. grams. Yeah. I can eyeball it. Yeah, that's about like 225. Hey, Gilbert, grams. this is definitely not decaf. This is definitely real because I'm feeling buzz right Vince, now. Vince, question for you: When yes. you're drinking uh, decaf coffee versus Oh, I would never do exactly. that. Exactly. I, I don't the know right why answer. anyone would ever do that. Don't drink decaf. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm getting attacked right now. Why are you drinking decaf? Because you have gagno and you also drink decaf. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, because I just want the taste. You know, it's fucking 9 p.m. almost and it's actually 8.20. It's but 8.20. <laughs> I just want to taste and not have to be up because I've actually, I'm doing this new thing, right? Because I've changed my life around Vince. Oh, I got, tell, yeah, tell Vince what, what you found out about yourself. So I went... About. Oh, for everybody. I don't know if I really talked about it that much, right? But I went and got my blood test done. We did talk about it. Did we? <laughs> yeah, See, we did. I'm losing talk my brain. About, I must have got COVID or some talk shit in my brain fog. Talk about it. But, uh, yeah, I went and got my uh, blood tested and my cholesterol was high. Um, my blood pressure was also pretty high. So I've changed up my diet completely. Uh, like a lot less sodium, no sodas, no, you know, uh, just like black coffees and shit. But because I'm changing all that, I'm changing, like, I'm going to be waking up at 6 a.m. every single day now. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's doing a whole lifestyle change. Basically, what Alice is trying to do is model a proper life, Conor McGregor. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this, but, this is shot. shot no, really, I am. I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. every day. Um, what are you going to do in the first hour of when you wake up? Even if I'm just sitting there, like, just, like, on my phone, just going over shit. Do you do a little bit of this? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to look at shit, but I want to oh. wake up. I want to keep that like as a thing. Like I'm waking up at six every day um, just to give myself time. So if I want to, I can go to the gym before work or, you know, I just, I feel like because I'm able to sleep in, like I just let myself stay up super late, just like fucking around and shit like that. So yeah, I'm like, Vince, no. what time do you wake up in the morning, man? Oh, yeah, what time, huh? do you what time do you drive your kids to volleyball practice? <laughs> <laughs> this is when, hey, when Vincent doesn't want to do our podcast, he goes, ah, volleyball game. <laughs> like, <laughs> season's <laughs> over, bro. Season's <laughs> over. There are multiple a things. That's volleyball <laughs> season, dude. Seriously, okay. Nate, actually, I want to see what it's kind of- It's winter. I want to see what kind of dad you are. What, how, what, uh, what athletics do you, have you made your kids do? Oh, man, like their whole lives? Yeah, because like, I want to see if MMA or jiu-jitsu is one of them. Oh, no, not yet. No. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, wow. yeah, I'd, I'd probably give him a base in something a little more traditional, like karate. Uh, Hi, yeah. Where, where they got, they got right, some uh, distance <laughs> control and striking and stuff. I don't want to, I don't think I'd throw him into something like BJJ first. Um, I want him to actually know how to fight first and then do BJJ. <laughs> oh, oh, in Nick's face. In Nick's face. Why is it in my face? face? Oh, why is it in my face? <laughs> Your whole life is BJJ. Oh, now. But, uh, soccer, <laughs> volleyball, cross country, uh, basketball. All the lame basketball. sports, dude. Hey, okay. <laughs> Sounds oh, like your kid's no, going to be a Vincent, bunch of nerds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> Vincent, I'm going to defend you because this guy just made that joke. Ask him what sport he did in high school. Ask him, hey, Vince, <laughs> ask, ask him what sport, sport he sport. did. Yeah, and, oh, which and sport I was did a you fucking do? loser, dude. <laughs> Tell him what sport you did. I swam and I played water polo in high school. This guy did water polo in an all-men's team. And guess, hey, guess what? They all fucked. <laughs> we, we did multiple <laughs> times. I was going to say, you know he was fit, though. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> that's true. That's true. He was fit. Hey, but also, though, when you play any other sports outside of the pool, you're bad at all of them. Because That's true. <laughs> You're, 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 when you when the sport you play, there's no gravity, so it doesn't matter. So <laughs> That's as, crazy. as soon as I walk on land, my legs are shattering, bro. I like swimming. 
<laughs> Hot take. <laughs> You're basically an astronaut. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm an astronaut, bro. Do you guys uh, like swimming? Uh, yeah, it's cool. For survival. I can't swim. Not for fun. Yeah. You can't swim? Mm-mm, I sink. I don't try. Don't People try. say just lay back. It's it's physics. You'll float, and I just go down. I don't get it. You got thick bones, boy, <laughs> or just thick ass eyebrows. I think it could be <laughs> nervous. If you're nervous too, it makes weighing you down. I feel like if you're nervous, it'll make you. Uh, I do freak out. Yeah. I, I'll go crazy. Because you like, really I'll have to floaty, and yeah, you really have to relax to just let your body. Hey, what happens when your eyebrows get wet? Do they like? Cover your eyes. Do they like? Oh yeah, like I, down. I could comb them. Like sometimes they're like <laughs> way down. Like I don't know if you could see it right oh, here, but oh they, look different. they come down under my eyes. Can you gel them? You should gel them. Yeah, you see that? Oh, you could. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, see, me and Vince are both growing our hair out right now. You could repurpose it. I respect that. Yeah. What's with you wanting to grow your hair out? I'm gonna grow my hair right now. Why? Just cause fuck it, right? I'm changing my life around, bro. Time for my bring back my old hair. My long ass hair was sexy. Fuck, I liked it. Speaking of sexy fuck, uh, there was a fight <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> yeah. And waking up at 6 a.m. every day, too, gives his hair more time to grow. Exactly. Like, he, can, like he remember, can, like, consciously grow it. Remember That's what the, Joshua Fabia said? What he was Because he was shorter his whole life. He was more in his body. <laughs> So that, like that if I wake that up, that sentence describes his whole career. If I wake up earlier, fool, like I'm in my body earlier. <laughs> Joshua Fabian, baby, Hamza, like Mark, with Mark Wahlberg over here. Shit, fool. <laughs> uh, Beans, did you watch the fights this past weekend? Be honest. All right, hold on, real quick. Fight recap. Well, I'm gonna ask him first. No cap. Did he watch the fights? Uh, I did. I I saw the day before they were at 7:30, and I was like, I'm gonna go to sleep early. I'm gonna get up early, and that didn't happen. I woke up at like. <laughs> I think I woke up like after the first. I barely woke up for the um, Kamzat fight. Oh no way! Right? Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, missed like yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, but then from that point on, I saw it. But that fight was crazy, and and the rest was entertaining. I was sad that I missed that crazy fight. What I guess some ref almost let somebody die. Oh my die. god, that yeah. was so bad. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. you know what? That brings us to our fight recap. No, no cap. Uh, you set that up, didn't you? Let's say I was, but Vincent's like volley was so long for someone that takes his daughter's volleyball that took forever. <laughs> uh, You're so volleyball. <laughs> That's Gilbert's favorite thing about you is that you take your kids to volleyball. I don't believe it. Is that what they call I it? I don't believe he takes his kids to volleyball. Do they call that a volley in volleyball? Is that the is term? That volley? Or is it a... Yeah. Hey, yeah tell parent, us, Vince. Parent corner. <laughs> parent corner. Go ahead. I'll tell you because I go every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is it called volleyball? Because it volleys over the net. Is volley a word? Like a, yeah. by itself well, that has you, a meaning? You, oh, look. He's talking to his daughter off screen. Yeah. Yeah. She's there the whole time. <laughs> hey, what is it called again? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, when you do this, what is that called? He's texting. He's texting his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it's called when you have a. It, it's the same with tennis and with uh, a rally. ping pong, isn't it? Ra- a rally. Yeah, like. a rally, which still doesn't explain volleyball. But thank you for trying, <laughs> uh, guys. Did you guys see the Ankilaev fight? Yes, I did. Ankilaev. He beat Volkan, one of the greatest strikers in this generation. What was his name? Volkan. Okay. Volkan <laughs> Uzdemir. So you changed it. Oh, Volkan. you know who I'm thinking of? Volkov. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm so sorry. He did fight this weekend. Too. Oh, so why would we? Why would we use a last name for one of the fighters and then the first name for another fighter? That's ridiculous. Whoever made these notes was it you? <laughs> I don't think it was Alex. It's quicker to type. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what did you guys think, Alex? Dude, Ankalaev. Uh, I know we say this a lot, he's but probably going to be the next champ at 205. Wow. He's, he's going to be the champ. His Lincoln. his striking is unbelievable. Like I was telling you guys when we were eating, Vulcan Uzdemir is a a oh, kickboxing champ and Sanford MMA guy. Come and on. so for this guy to go in there and make him look like he could not strike with him. And then his background is fucking Sambo wrestling. And he's a champion in that to know that he has that wrestling in him. Yeah. He beats everybody. He's just right now. It's just about, uh, honestly, I just don't think he's like promote, like promotable, you know? Yeah. So I feel like the UFC kind of just like, the the is that whole division, dude. yeah, but you know, I think he beats all of those people, bro. Every single one of them, I think he beats um, in the top. I think he's your next champ. Uh, Nick, I know you were talking a lot about this guy when you were watching the fight. Um, uh, do you agree with Alex? Future champ? Yeah, I think so. And how many? Let's put us a, uh, a time on that. He probably needs two more fights to get to a title fight. Wow. Because like look, that. light heavyweight, pretty light. Who's there? You know what I mean? Like as far as uh, Glover obviously, Teixeira. Obviously, there's a lot of great fighters there. But as far as he's in ranked number seven. <laughs> Hey, you know who they could have him fight next, though? Who? Uh, Jan. That'd be a good fight. Jan Blakovich. 
Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Is it Blachowicz or Blachowicz? <laughs> Blachowicz. Hey, let's, ask, hey, let's ask our MMA correspondent all the way in Poland, Vincent. How do you say the last name? Support for the We Out Here MMA podcast is brought to you by our friends at Manscaped, Manscaped. the leaders in morning, man, male grooming. My bad. Their fourth generation performance package absolutely charged the grooming game along with their refined body wash to round out your hygiene routine. Join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped for their shower routine by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code We Out Here. You know, Mm-hmm. Just a couple of days ago, you know, I'm trying to do this whole like lifestyle change and shit, right? My Love blood it. and shit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time that I'm gonna shave these like all the way down. Like, do the go full out. Yeah, and you know, I went and I just I was doing shit quick because I'm like I'm acting on the fly. You feel me? So I went and I just grabbed my old razor and started you know trimming my nut and I cut mm-hmm. that. Oh, oh shit! I was bleeding every. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, I thought this was oh, what. This ain't the Manscaped 4.0. It was a performance package. I literally yeah. fucking pegged that shit at the wall, grabbed my 4.0, and trimmed the rest of my balls. Perfectly clean. They're super shiny. Uh, and I'm fucking running. Uh-huh. I'm doing all this shit all the fucking time. I got people fucking DMing me, bro. All day. Like, you know what it is, bro? So it's like, yeah, bro. Tell them some points about this shit. And if you guys want the Lawnmower 4.0, yeah. all you have to do is get... The performance package 4.0 because inside the package you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer their weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer <laughs> <laughs> guys get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code we out here at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with the code we out here at manscaped.com keep your balls trim fresh and clean with manscaped we love you guys so much and we want you to love your balls as well Back love your show. balls uh blockowitz <laughs> hey, that sounds Blockwitz. <laughs> He's like, Blockowitz. <laughs> Honowitz. Honowitz. Uh, Vince, do you like Onkelov? Were you able to catch that fight or was that after you woke up? It was after. I missed that whole thing. And uh, I was. I just looked at the rankings right now. Yeah. Because I was just curious to see where, where he's at and where uh, Volkan's at now. And it's funny because uh, Jan is still pictured here as the 205 <laughs> yeah. champion. They're disrespecting Glover. What, what, what do you think of that logo? It's because they update on Tuesdays. Uh, what do you think so of the sponsor? On Tuesday, I'll update. What are your thoughts on that sponsor, though? Yeah. What, do you, what, do you th- what are your thoughts on the sponsor that's pictured right next to Jan? What the fuck? Oh, wait, is are that? you on the UFC rankings? Yeah, I don't see any picture next to him. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, because when we go to UFC.com and go to rankings, for some reason, Yom... Oh, it's wait. gone now. It literally it just, literally just oh, disappeared. Fuck. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, this is not a bit. This is wait, live. This actually that happened. just happened. <laughs> Let's see if again. We refresh again, see what happens. Oh, it's no, it's there. there. It's there. <laughs> the audience what? can't see any of this, so this is the worst comment. Keep, 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 it, keep it. Watch. I'm going to put this in there for them. So what? that's the one. Do you see is it? Is it like it's, Monster? It's, it's like literally just like a bowl. Like a bowl. Well, well, give me refresh your, your page. Refresh your page right now. Oh, okay. Refresh it. Give me your thoughts, though, Vince. Uh, looking at that 205 division, um, mm. how, where do you see him um, reaching Glover? Like, is it a couple two fights, like what Nick said, or are you seeing something sooner? Where, where am I seeing uh, Ankalov Unc- yeah. reaching Glover? Yeah, or Ankalive. 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 Abraham. Oh man. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if Ankalaev gets past uh, Rakic. Rakic is my guy. Thank you. I hey, Rakic is. That. I wanted him. Hey, to say he's that. big, dude. Rakic is. You guys kind of look dude. the same too. You kind of look like Rakic. He's that MMA Stephen Crowder. Is he? <laughs> is he, he I, every time I see him fighting, I think that's like his doppelganger. <laughs> so um, is a uh, wait. He also got a haircut, didn't he? He looks Yuri? more like Graham Stephan. Who? Did he get a haircut, Yuri. Yeah. No, he still has the same thing where it's like that long thing, but it's longer. It's really? like a broom, dude. Yeah, it's weird. It in looks stands, honestly. You can see it. If it's for like religion and shit, cool. But if it's not, it honestly looks fucking ridiculous. You ever Even if the, it's for fashion, you don't like it. You ever oh. see the videos of Yuri in like the woods and he just screaming on like over a, a like a creek? Yeah, you guys don't do screaming training. He's like, yeah. <laughs> does he really? Do you yeah, guys ever do? You ever find that? Video? Have you ever no. tried to um, doing screaming training? I, know I do, do it in the car sometimes, but I never knew it was training. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna, you do, gonna it right do it. Now. No, because there's people outside. Okay. Just give it. This okay. guy. Did you guys know this thing about? Did you tell him he used to be in a band? Yeah, he used to be a deathcore vocalist. This guy used to scream yeah. all the time. That's why we. Oh, Johnny yes, hey. yes. So don't let your daughter date that guy in high school. <laughs> that was a deathcore vocalist for a while, but there, you can scream. Also, it feels really good. Like once you just fucking just let out, dude. When I used to play shows, like we used to have like fifteen minute sets, man. Mm-hmm. Afterwards, I was like so relaxed, and my body was so just like. <sighs> What's better, coming to full climax or screaming for fifteen minutes? 
That's a good question, Vince. You got to admit that was pretty. That's good journalism. But let's right have there. Vincent answer that. <laughs> How do you think Alex? Let's go around the room. What, what do you think Alex would say? Screaming at the top of his lungs in, or, in a concert or coming. coming? Like the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, documentary. I'm just gonna tell you what immediately came to my mind when you said that. I assumed he'd say a mixture. <laughs> oh, that's good. At the same time, yeah. but here it depends because, <laughs> that's like, you were thinking. Hey, he's disappointed. Look how sad he looks. Here's the thing, bro. <sighs> if I'm if I'm out here busting bullets, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And it's what someone that it just going, the vibe ain't right. Then you know, after you bust that little that little thing, then you kind of just like, all right, well, shit, let me dip on out even though I'm never in those situations, but screaming, like I can tell you right now, like for me, cause I was like, you know, I was going through some shit as a teenager. So when I got on stage and just fucking was able to s- scream like my fucking lungs out with lyrics that I wrote that were like pertaining to my life right there, that was a whole different type of feeling right there. And so you know what, it is what, better than coming. And do you also know what another type of feeling is? What? Chemayev winning. <laughs> Chemayev beat <laughs> Nick's cousin. Uh, I will even see on the last. <laughs> on the last. On the last. And that's that's screaming. That's what you used to do in high yeah, school. Yeah, that's a mini scream. Uh, Chemayev, Ugh. right? Uh, I chose him. Someone had, fart? No, I, I had Chemayev losing last oh. week. I had a Lee knocking him out with a puncher's chance. Let's focus. Punching him out with a, uh, a puncher's chance. And guess what? Uh, Chimaev took him wrong, down dude. You and were destroyed so wrong. him. Um, I give up. What do you mean you give up? I don't want to pick fights anymore. Picking <laughs> fights is the hardest thing. Because then everyone gets angry. I mean, we literally told you, though, that he wasn't going to win. Yeah, but you also told me to pick fucking Dominic Reyes and bet money on it. <laughs> but he, he did lost. win that no, fight, he lost, though. Because I ordered my $100 ago. <laughs> it went to a good cause. It went to uh, donations. Draft Kings? It was a draft. Kings. It went to DraftKings, <laughs> and they help out homeless. Okay, fine. They don't actually. On record, they're against homeless. Uh, uh, Chamayev. Sure. Let's just talk about Chamayev. Uh, he really did ragdoll this dude and finished it quick. He was talking to Dana White while he was literally in a position of body slamming Lee. He said he was on his phone, so he was like, "Hey, guy, so you wanted to go talk to him?" That's oh pretty crazy. God, that's amazing. Uh, let's just talk about Chamayev. Where do we see him in the UFC in the next like two years? Who does he? Who is he fighting next? I feel like the the win was impressive. And I was telling these guys earlier, Vince, that I think Chamayev still needs to fight some like top ten guys, top five guys, top five. If you're gonna call him like the next big thing, let's give him some real opponents so he gets tested. Dude, Hamzat is not even in the top fifteen, and he fought the number eleven guy. And Whoa, smashed he's still him. not there. Smashed him. Yeah. Wait, I don't know if Vince is saying that because you don't like him or... No, he's really not in the top... Wait, are you, Chimaya, what, are you a Chamaya fan? Be honest. Are you a Chamaya fan or not? Hey, I, Vincent, I, don't worry. Your boy's right here to protect you. <laughs> I, I wasn't at first, but <sighs> I think I kind of got one over. Yeah. Um, I, I'm liking the guy. I, I didn't like it. This is the same problem, the same reason I had problems with um, Islam at first because everyone's like, he's the new Khabib. Everybody forget about Khabib. And I'm like, no, I don't like that guy. But it was only because of that because I didn't want people to disrespect Khabib. But this guy, like, he goes in there, like, with this, like, childlike joy and just kills people. And it's like, <laughs> it's there's something likable about that. He's not, like, mad or angry or disrespecting. He's just so happy to be there and thankful for this opportunity. He's capitalizing on it. He's fun to watch. This guy literally says, he goes, I just want a war, but nobody wants to give me war. <laughs> I go in there, I smash everybody, but I want a war and a fight. So it's kind of like a kid. Like, he's really kid, like, yeah. yo, like, how come nobody... He's like, all my fights have been easy. He's like, I don't get it. I try really hard, but... I just smash everybody. It's like he breaks all his toys. This guy's and this I kill this guy and toys. get my money. <laughs> One more time. One more t- I kill this guy and get my money. Hey, at the end of the fight where he goes, Allah Akbar, I kill, I want to kill everybody. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Saying you're going to kill people is, is kind of scary. Just saying, just saying I'm going to kill. And then the way he's evil, he looks like an evil. He could definitely being. him and Alistair Overeem could be villains in a like a james bond movie oh, i think for sure hamza dude that dude is evil habib he's like he's like a mortal Kombat version of habib that's what he is he's a he's good i think he can be champ the whole thing with this right is he wasn't ranked look when you're in the ufc it doesn't matter you know even those unranked fighters it's still a different level you can see it like when you look at bellator fights and when you look at ufc fights even people that aren't ranked it's still just a whole different level when you're there he in four fights he has been punched two times. You know, in a total of four fucking fights, two punches have landed on him. That's it. 
You know who he should fight that would I think would give him a very like explosive fight? I think it's Vincente Luque. I know it doesn't make sense on a ranking. I like that. Yeah. Give a real test. But like as far as a guy who is just who who has been in firefights and who succeeds in firefights. <clears throat> you throw a Hamza with that. That's a good fucking match. Yeah. But He's, I worry about the wrestling. It, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's like I think uh <laughs> I mean this guy just spilled a drink all over the equipment. <laughs> This guy is so stupid. <laughs> hey, I love that it's on camera too, but... but also this guy was pouring coffee in my fucking drink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, also though, but like um I I think he's I think he's like Habib where he's deceivingly strong. Yeah. You know? Everybody's and shocked. Even DC, well, I remember when it was in the Fight Island last time when DC was like he's like I grapple with this guy a little bit and um he was like he's he's strong. He's, he's a really guy. strong dude. And then when he's standing next to DC, like he's a lot taller than he. So he looks like a bigger dude. I just think at this point, bro, he's big and he's going to be really strong for anybody in that, that welterweight division. And I think he's going to do what he just did to Li Jing Liang to everybody. He knocked out a, like a legit 185er with one punch. Yeah. I know Mershart. it's Mershart. Yeah, okay. But he's still 185. But Mershart's a, good. And Mershart has some good, good wins. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of you fucking shitting on this dude, bro. Dude, I used to live with the guy. Didn't wash dishes. You know what? Fuck that. That's dude. like Jim Halpert Fuck in the that office. that guy, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, a scumbag. You know one guy who's not even ranked in the top five, but I think could uh, take uh, Chimaev to a decision? Would only Kevin one guy. Kevin Lee. No. One guy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll put, I think we all like him. One guy. Neil Magny. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's literally ranked eight, though. Yeah. I said top five. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I said there's one guy not in the top five that can. Yeah, you said not in the top rank. I don't know what we're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is us when we catch Gilbert in a light. He just, just keeps playing. No, nah, but I saw Neil Magny was talking like, <laughs> he's here's the thing. Us. Neil Magny would actually be a good test. Here's the thing. I think he manhandles Neil, Neil Magny too. Neil, Neil Magny, however, it's so I, Neil I think I think we'll, I think when I think when he gets up and he fights a Leon Edwards or a Colby Covington or Kamar Usman, I think that's Probably. where you're going to see like a competitive fight. But I think anybody else, he fucking smashes them. He smash. I would love to see him fight Colby. Everyone say one fighter you like uh, Chamaya to fight. Go, Alex. Uh, Leon. Go. Colby. Vince. Strickland. Oh, I like that too. Hey, that'd be nice because he can go up to 185 oh, and beat him wow. up. And they I both like want to murder somebody. Did you hear Strickland yeah. telling Ariel he wants to actually kill somebody? I yeah, like that. That guy need to calm down. Did you also like see it. that he was talking about his neo Nazi past? Yeah, it's, it was it's a neo Nazi. It's actually a fascinating interview. You guys should watch. If you haven't watched it, I was like, oh man, it's pretty cool that he could be this candid about this. He should be. Talk about his past. Yeah. Be real. But I feel um, like most people wouldn't, though. What do you think? Yeah. What did he say? Was he like straight up racist or? Yeah, he guy? said he grew up that way. Like his uncle, his grandfather was very like racist. And then as he kind of got older, he started realizing that all the people in his life that were actually helping him were all colored people. And he was like, oh, I'm, I've been wrong this whole time. He was like that one character in American History X. What's Dude, his name? Hey, one of the Edward, greatest movies of Edward all Edward time. Norton? Edward Norton? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Edward Norton, Edward Furlong. Well, that's literally in my top five favorite movies of all time. So good. Damn, even over... Joker? 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 Yeah, honestly, I... Joker? Yeah, just because I've loved that movie since I was, like, a kid. It just... I thought that movie was so powerful and good and just crazy and, you Vince, know... Vince, what did you think of the Peter Yan and Corey Sanhagen fight? Thank oh, you. it was wonderful. Um, oh, look at that smile. Dude, like he's like, he's like, he like, said that. It's like he's seeing his wife for the first time yeah, again. Dude. Back oh, in she's wonderful. Wow. <laughs> I, that I was, was kind of like, like, I felt like we were dating or something right now, dude. <laughs> oh, you're wonderful. Was like, wow. wonderful. It was, was just wonderful. so nice to see uh, <laughs> San Higgin just so beautifully outclassed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I forgot this guy don't like him. Yeah. Oh, you don't like Sanhagen? Never have. I don't know why he just he just rubs me the wrong way. You know I don't why? know if he said some yeah. interviews like annoying things. I don't know, but I think I know why you don't like him because he's see. white. He literally is the most white Colorado dude ever. But I still like it though. Yeah, like he literally wore golf attire <laughs> to the the he looked the like press a substitute conference. teacher. Yeah, <laughs> but he had like a, a golf collar shirt. Seriously, shirt why, some, why this looking dude? But also. Fights like Swagger, the fights bro. like the least whitest guy. Yeah, like who does that many flying <laughs> knees and spinning hook yeah. kicks? He doesn't fight yeah, like a white spamming. dude. Yeah. Hey, you know what I really liked about him though is at the end when DC interviewed him, he's like, "So when it came up for the the decision, did you think he won the fight?" He goes, "No." 
I was like, hey, see, that's cool, bro. I like yeah. that response. He's just like, no, I didn't. Yeah. I was like, all right, see. And then he's like, he was a better guy today. He beat me fair and square. That was a nice moment. Yeah. And here, uh, let's talk to, about another fighter who actually was, um, these guys love this. Dude. You also didn't like it, but I know you've turned. Um, Islam Makachev. We're not going to give Peter Yan his roses, bro? We will, but I really want to get this. I want to compare him to Chimaev. I want to get my point across. Mm, okay. I don't like both those guys. Not don't like those, both those guys. I'm just not as high or bullish on them. Um, but I will say Islam, after this fight, this guy will be champion. I think he has such an easier path to be the 155 champ. So impressive. He can beat Poirier. He can beat Max. He can beat... Did you say Chandler. Max? I said Max Holloway. If Max wanted to fight at 155 again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, Save what? myself. Save myself. <laughs> Who else? He could beat Henry Zahudo. Henry Zahudo. He could beat Dominic Cruz. One fight he can't beat. Then God. Justin Gage. <laughs> but I would say I like Islam a lot. I think he's going to be champ like these guys have been talking about. But I don't see Chamaya being champ. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, so that was your whole point. Yeah, is that he's better than Chamayev. Why does it have to be better than or greater? Because this is they're MMA not even in the same weight class, though. No, they're both prospects on the rise. Wow, just because they have the same beard. That's okay. the only reason Islam, why I'm saying that. Islam is in the top five. So he's not a prospect. He's a contender. You know what I mean? He All right, contended. Dana White promo for Contender Series. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Tuesday I think, nights, guys. Tuesday nights. <laughs> I think, you know, when towards the end of the uh, Habib's career, when he started getting really aggressive, like trying to finish people? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh uh, it's pouring. Um, I think that I think Islam's doing that now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that he's being more aggressive. Like right now, he's he's finished his last couple fights. So I think we're gonna see that more often. And yeah, honestly, in lightweight, dude, um, he just beat number six. Yeah. Right. I think I honestly, if he was gonna fight Benil, think he sma- smashes him. Smash. Oh. Um, honestly. I hate to say this because everybody knows that Justin Gaethje is my favorite Smashes fighter. Smashes him. He beats, probably Smashes. beats Justin Gaethje. Beats everyone, dude. I think, yeah, I think he's going to be the champ. I think he's our next champ. Maybe one guy with some resistance, Oliveira, just because. Just because of the jiu-jitsu. Crafty Don't ground freaking game. way, dude. Only because Oliveira's jiu-jitsu game. <laughs> yeah, only because of his jiu-jitsu game. That's the only reason why I think he has the best chance out of all those guys. But, man. He he's gonna beat everybody. He will be the champ. And honestly, I think he get he should just be able to get the next title shot. Honestly, uh, that was very well said, Alex. And I agree, Vince. Uh, what's your take on Islam after the fight? After yeah, after or just oh. the religion? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll start with the fighter. Um, I <laughs> then I'll share my thoughts on the faith. <laughs> I yeah he's a uh, he's very very exciting to watch uh, the uh, same thing as uh, Chimeyev the, the only thing I ever had against him was I just didn't like that everyone was immediately trying to swap Khabib with him but um, w- when you just look at him as as the way he fights and what he does um, I love watching him it's just fun to see the domination like that uh, but I I am holding on to some hope I do I do think that Dariush has something up his sleeves for him. Wow. That's my guy. Wow. Why, why so high on Dariush? Dariush. Um, I, I'm going to take a guess. Hey, my man. Is, is, is hey, my Cand- man's stuttering. Did he, yeah. Does he believe it? Or is it the Candace Owens effect? Candace I, Owens effect. <laughs> <laughs> or is, I or is it he's fighting funny. Marxism? <laughs> I think, um, well... I, I didn't know if we wanted to talk about that on this podcast, but okay. And then the next thing was <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Dariush. Uh, I don't hate that. And then Dariush, um, it, it reminds me of that, that guy from Grey's Anatomy, and I think it's funny. I want McDreamy to, uh, to have the strap. I it's, can't give up on my dream. It's a salt and pepper. I here. changed my mind about Mock Jeff. Vanille, McDreamy wins. 100%. Wait, what show? Oh my uh, Grey's, Grey's Anatomy. Anatomy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the one where they're all doctors and shit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's right. one of the five thousand doctor shows. Yeah. <laughs> remember, you guys remember Dawson's Creek? <laughs> yeah. Or Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nobody talks about Seventh Heaven anymore. Seven ever since the dad heaven. got popped for molesting. Uh, it's ooh. not politically correct anymore. Uh, yeah, sure. You can't bring that up on the show, dude. Yeah, don't do that. We're gonna get demonetized. If we hey, you guys want to know something funny? When me and my brothers, for some reason, we had this little stint when we were kids. We used to literally, right when we get home, we used to run inside to our room, 
we had this black tube TV, right? But it was like a fucking 15 inch screen. Turn it on and go to like channel seven so we can watch seven. seven. <laughs> it's a good show. We used to love that show, bro. Really good family values in that show. A lot of messages. Not as good as Family Matters. Shout out to Family Matters. Yeah, of course. Uh, family Matters. Exact same theme song. Uh, <laughs> back throwing flowers to Pietor Jan. Uh, is he the champ? I asked this to all of you. Is he the champion for the next three years? Yes or no? He's, and why? He's too good, dude. So your answer is Aljamain beats him up. Got it. I think Aljo gets beat up worse in the second fight. Oof. Alex? Um, can Peter be the champion for the next three years? Pietor. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. He's so good everywhere. Dude. He's just good. Yeah, his he's transitions, good at everything. Like his MMA, overall MMA game, I don't think anybody has a better, well-rounded game. <laughs> Do you know who disagrees with you guys? Who? TJ Dillashaw. Vincent, go ahead. I saw your Boy. face. I saw your Sith Lord face while they were talking. Dude, you do look like a Sith Lord. <laughs> His cheeks also puffed up, too. It was weird. Yeah, dude. You look, you look like a little sinner. Ooh. It would just be a, a technicality. Um, there today, we go. There we go. Peter Yawn, no one beats him. But if if it was like Street Fight and you let Dillashaw take his candy, Dillashaw wins. But like <laughs> yeah. today's Dillashaw can't beat Yawn. But yeah, that's a couple true. years ago, yeah. That's true. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. I mean, who do we have on the come up? We have Marab. Jose, Jose did good, but just like how Peter Yan does, those first couple rounds, he's slow, but then just picks it up at the end. Four and five, he came on so strong, dude. Yeah. yeah. In the I mean, third it, round even, too. If Rob Font, because I think Rob Font has a fight, right? Yeah, he's fighting Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo, if he can beat him, I'd like to see Rob Font and um, yeah, I think it's a great fight. Peter Yan, their box, both their boxings are really good. And Rob Font's a big boy. If he's there's a big boy. I think if there's one guy that can take down Pietor, Dominic Cruz. Okay. Granddaddy all day, baby. Papa He's got a fighting, credit card. Who's he fighting next? He's fighting... Uh, He's fighting someone... Oh, it's not touchscreen? All right. I don't know if it counts, but I do think Cejudo could beat Jan. Because he's not in the rankings right now, but oh. yeah. Cejudo would smash him. Honestly, really? honestly, I think he probably could, honestly. I think you guys are all wrong. <laughs> with that wrestling, with Cejudo's wrestling, and Cejudo has good cardio, I think he could. Yeah, I don't think we're wrong, Nick. You spilled Coke. Diet Coke. Mixed with coffee. Yeah, this guy kept pouring coffee. Honestly, it just slipped out of my hands. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> and honestly, look look how clean the table looks, man. And honestly, it was all on camera, so I'm so happy. Because <laughs> I'm just trying Thank to make the Thank you for the show. real. <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to make the show more interesting. And I want okay? to yeah. take this to our main event uh, of the fight uh, recap, no cap. Uh, Glover, second oldest champion in UFC history. This guy did it. DC got emotional. I don't know how you guys felt, but uh, he beat Jan. I, I think we were all pretty hot on Jan, at least holding it for a couple fights, and but you know lost what, it. You know what's so funny, though? When Jan became champion, I think on one of our episodes after Jan became champion, we were talking about potential matchups, and I think it was either you or... Oh, I'm been big on Glover. Yeah, gl- or Gil. I did say Glover was going to beat and him. And he goes like, yo, he's going to choke him out. His ground game is super sus. And yeah. I thought by now he would have kind of plugged up those holes a little bit. Man... He did not plug. He did not up, plug huh? up those holes. Yeah, Glover might be another one of those guys, like you said about like Islam or or Hamza, where they just have that blanket pressure. And once they get on top of you, people are like, "Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what to do from here." Because that's what it looked like. He just looked like he was mm-hmm. like overwhelmed by the takedown. Yeah, because back in the day when I was saying, uh, we were saying that about Glover. But what I was saying too is I thought Glover was a horrible matchup for Izzy. So I was saying that Izzy should. Definitely try to get the fight in with Jan before he fights Glover because I was saying that Glover might win. Even though I did shoot, I thought Jan was just, just because Glover's last fights, he's always getting rocked and just Jan, you know, Jan puts people to sleep. But like I said in the last episode, I really wanted Glover to win. I thought Jan was going to win, so I was really happy he did. But yeah, I think Glover, if he was to fight Izzy right now, I think it would be the same exact thing. He would take him down and submit him. He's just one of those guys. He's a big dude. He's strong as hell. He has that old man strength. And old man strength. Though. Yeah. And it's just like right now, since John Jones is gone, I think he can do that to almost all these people, bro. Vince, how I do you think, think Yuri, he does it to him too. He doesn't do it to how do you, Yuri. How yeah. do you feel like he matches up with Yuri Prohashka? Glober. Uh, Stop I think it's your daughter. I'm biased. <laughs> I think he waits for an opening. I think he clinches him and gets him down, lays on him. I think he wins that fight. Yeah. I, I think, think Glover's old and experienced and patient. Yeah. I'm high on Yuri, but I kind of can't help but to feel that like Glover's going to take him down. 
Is he going to really hold us for a bit? And we're all going to be like, what the fuck? I think so. <laughs> so Glover's going to be our 205. After we had John Joe, we're going to have Glover for a decade. Dog. <laughs> but, but matchup wise, right? Like you're over here talking about how the lightweight division. I just want to no say wrestlers. this. None of this still matters because John Jones left. But I, I get that. <laughs> that. But he going to heavyweight, bro. You know what I mean? And he's over here. Who knows if he's going to fight again? You think John Jones is going to fight again? We, we I have don't think, not in the cage. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey. But in the bedroom at the Caesars Palace. Let's go. Oh. Grandmaster. <laughs> For one of my videos, I did research a while back. And I mean, a- anybody can go and look at the timeline and, and all the history. For John Jones's absolute most notable fights, wins, defenses, that was the whole string of time when he was not being checked for steroids. Like that was before that was, oh, there we go, baby. Oh, I and like that so it's all, like, all inaccurate. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Take <laughs> how do you feel about that? Connor's his, never done steroids, but John Jones has. That's what grandmaster said. And his brothers do steroids too. So and, Connor's and then done after steroids. that is when everyone started talking, even the Jones fans like, Hey, how come he can't put him away anymore? Hey, how come it looks like the other guy? Oh, actually won? Hey, he changed. Wow. That's why he's taking like three years off. So when he transitions to heavyweight, he comes back with gyno. <laughs> right? Um, he's going to do steroids. I think you're all wrong. I think Conor McGregor's doing steroids right now. He probably John Jones is, never bro. did. I don't think John, I honestly don't think Conor ever. Connor? Honestly, I could say this right now. Back in the day, I'm sure John Jones did steroids because everybody was doing steroids. Not Even every, George St. Pierre. Not Michael Bisping. Everybody, dude. You, not Michael Bisping wasn't, but George St. Pierre was. John Jones was. Wow. Uh, I think Habib, for sure. You know, with Russians, Ooh, he's, bringing the, he's bringing out the Olympics. He's bringing out the Olympics. Yeah, remember they got banned from the Olympics, didn't they? Or no, I forget. One one country did, but not uh, Dagestan. Not Dagestan, but Russia. Russia has had history with that shit. But I don't know for them in like Dagestan and shit. I think it would probably be like against like religion or something to do drugs like that. Probably, but also yeah. John Jones is not that religious either. So. Yes, he is. He's a very Catholic man. That's why. Is he Catholic? I, I think, think he's Christian. Christian. I think he's, he's Christian. Evangelical. I mean, it's all Seventh Day Adventist. He's SDA for sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> guys. SDA. Let's never uh, heard that. Before. Get into our we out here morning news. Oh, I was gonna let it go all the way. It's, it's four minutes long, bro. <laughs> nah, dude, this guy's yeah. got a poo. I can tell from his face. I got a poo. <laughs> That's why this I whole time Vince's jaw's been locked. Like he's got to take a shit. <laughs> Or is that just your smile? I can't tell. You got to take a poopy caca? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm He's good. like this. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I'll push Vincent, I got a question for you, okay? Yes. Did you watch Squid Game? Oh, my God. I haven't. He doesn't watch Korean you don't, Yeah, he doesn't like Ever him, since uh, Bobby Lee, he doesn't watch Korean <laughs> Yeah, he's... <laughs> Do you do you hate Bobby Lee now because yeah. he said it? Yuck. Yeah, address us on the air. We actually banned him from the show because of how he treated you. He will never be um, on. Send a message to Bobby and... Yeah, I just love what Gilbert's like. This is our friend Vincent. Is Mexican martial arts? Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the it's the weirdest thing, and I know it's gonna seem like uh, I'm just saying that, but before before the incident, <laughs> incident. <laughs> I didn't miss a single Tiger Bally or <laughs> oh, he's missed after all it them. happened. He's missed I'm all like, no, no, I'm good. I'm I'm okay. I, I get. It. I, I've been watching Bobby for years. Yeah. I know how he is. I. I but I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> so it's like, but, but I don't think it's because, because I'm not mad. Like if you ask me, I'm not, but it's almost like. You really? Cause you have a lot to say. Bro, right he now. called me fat. You know, Alice hasn't played Warzone with him since. Well, he just stopped playing Warzone. <laughs> but he, remember you kept calling me fat. I don't know if it's a weird connection. Like since, even though we didn't really talk or anything, maybe since there was that kind of semi contact, now it's like, oh, you know, the the bubbles burst. Like so, it's yeah. like, like, oh, he's don't meet your heroes, cool. bro. Don't meet your heroes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, they might just know. say yuck when they see you. <laughs> yeah. know. That's the lesson. Don't be your heroes. Or don't say yuck. That's pretty traumatizing, though. Yeah, you know what? If, if I met Bruce Lee and he was like, yuck, and then walked away, I'd be like, man, fuck Bruce Lee. It was dog. crazy. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like when I'm working out, when I'm jogging, when I'm hitting, like all the time, I have something with Bobby Lee on it, like biggest fan. Like, so, And then that happened, and it was like, I know I can't take it seriously. I know his style of comedy, you, but at the same time. You know time, you have to come to one of his shows now and confront him backstage, and when I will film that. <laughs> Dude, we really got to. Vincent, when are you coming out to visit us? I know. He can't. He has 18 kids that play volleyball. 
it's all year hey, round. Hey, it's his volleyball team, literally. <laughs> <laughs> all the kids, he's the coach. He's like, yeah, just keep volleying over there. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I started a team just to avoid the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, um, come down, I dude. I, With, go to Disneyland. Hey, hey no, no. Here it is. Here it is. He just went to Disneyland in recently. January. Oh. UFC 270. Francis Ngannou Sirogan is at the Anaheim in Anaheim at the Honda Center. Come down, chill with your boys. We're gonna do a bunch of shit for it. Are we? That's my kid's birthday. <laughs> I didn't even Fuck give you a date. Yeah, I just said cares? January. <laughs> what is it? January? Well, I don't want to give like too many details on the internet, but is it yeah. like mid January? Uh, I think it's early January. Oh, okay. Then maybe not. Yeah. Okay. But he still has to prep for his kid's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no, from now until then, it's like a no, couple weeks, from now bro. until then, he's going to keep adding them to more sports. Yeah. So they have to, he has to keep trying. Yeah, we have fencing <laughs> practice later. We, Dad, we won't be able to fencing? make it. Fencing? We just, uh, again, another thing? I don't like, I do, I do get a little worried about traveling in the winter though, because the fog freaks me out. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, he driving. He driving. Well, do you guys have fog over there? I yeah, think, it was like, actually, like, it was hell. Farm world. So Dude, it was. Central to, in Central California? Fog? Yeah, like killer, fog. Bro. You can't see anything. Bro, no, it was hella. There's no lights out there? It was hella foggy all day today. Like, every time you went out, like, it kind of looks like if you wear contacts, you know, if they're, they're like, they're dirty. Uh, it's kind of what it looked like. They were really stuff. foggy. That's called smudges. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's do one news story so we can get to the uh, quick pay pick. So we have a dope uh, pay-per-view after this. Uh, I think what we have to discuss is um this one. I think this is an interesting one. The intergender MMA fight. Have you guys seen this? There's a promotion, Whoa. Vince, if you want to click the link uh, on the notes. They're letting gender doesn't exist where any human can fight each other. Dude, this is the shittiest fight I've ever seen. <laughs> this, this was like they, they they're not even fighters bro like i think they're just they just got two guys like two people and were like hey you guys want to fight do you, you know what chick? country this is in poland okay so both these people oh my god the guy is terrible he should get knocked out this guy is squaring up like he's watching power rangers and shit and he's like trying <laughs> to copy their moves i cannot like believe powering up this was sanctioned i guess it's because it's another country but this proves the point of, first of all, not anyone can fight. This two, chick is beating the shit out of this. But also, though. they shouldn't be fighting. Like, um, Matt, here, just imagine this, right? Like, you're a person. Like, say, I'm, uh, that's me, right? <laughs> no, expand your mind. No, but listen. <laughs> like, you, imagine. <laughs> like, you're that guy, you're right? You're you. Yeah. And you're like, hey, like, you're with the homies. But, hey, dude, I got a fight next week, bro. You want to come? Nick's like, oh, who you fighting? Oh, I'm fighting some girl. Uh, some little ass girl. You want to come like, through? Tickets hell are, yeah! Tickets are eighty bucks. Like, imagine being that guy. But, like, now, but now imagine this. What's fight yo, week like for you? But imagine this. Yo, I got to fight. Want to come? Yeah. When I'm is fighting it? cyborg? That different now. Yeah, that is different. Why is he this guy in this fight? He's wearing like black eyeliner all across his eye like this, bro. I think uh, he got bruised. He beat. He beat her. That was crazy. I feel course, like, dude, she is, looks. Like she's like four foot tall. But yeah. also, though, this guy can't fight at all. And neither can she. So that's fair, I guess. Kind of looks like Chase Hooper. That's how bad his striking was. Uh oh. Ben Askren, son. I like, I like Chase Hooper. I do like yeah. Chase Hooper. He just needs to work on his striking. You just Wait, hate his striking. But him. honestly, I think that, it, that is weird, though. That, it's this, crazy that this is even happening. This is like smut. This is what this is. I feel like I'm watching something illegal right now. Yeah, it's weird, dude. Are it's weird, dude. Smut. I don't know what smut is. Smut is a is a type of suit that comes out of your chimney. And yeah. let's get, get to, to our quick pick picks with Lift God and Nick the, the Ear and Vincent Grand Grandmaster. Master. Guys, we have UFC number 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 at Madison Square Garden this Saturday, November 6, 7 p.m. I'll be watching. They'll be watching. Vincent will probably be on an 18 hour stream, so go support him over there. Are you streaming? No, yeah. the biggest card of, of like forever. I, I'm not going to be streaming. Are you, gonna, are you just going to chill that day? What are you going on that day? I, our family got invited to uh, the Met like Gala. A dinner. Oh, no, <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> We we got invited to like a, a dinner party kind of thing. So, so the Met Gala, like, the Met Gala. Yeah. <laughs> just say the Met Gala, dude. The we don't want to hear about your pretty good. We huh? want to hear good about your you. Tito's dinner. You said Pito? You said Tito. Oh, pito. I was like, boy, you. What's a Pito? I don't know what that is. <laughs> type of smart. Is it? What's yeah. Pito? You don't want to know. Should I not say that in restaurants? Say hey. Pito cheese. Hey, Can hey. I get some Pito cheese. You don't want to know. That sounds great. Is it? Do I sound weird if what I? Just do you, what do you think Pito means? Penis. Yeah, spot on. Oh, literally. 
You know what they call ours in Tagalog? Itlog. 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 That sounds dirty. Hey, sound you know what they call dirty. it in Tagalog? What? Um, Tagalog? Tagalog? <laughs> Tagalog? Uh, lumpia. Oh, that's, that's true. That's another yeah, word yeah. they use, too. Um, you guys who got a main event don't know what that whole segment was. Uh, welterweight fight between uh, two guys I like very much. I love both their personalities. I love both their stories. And, God, they can fight their butts off. This their is gonna butts. Be, this is going to be a barn burn. We got Kamaru Uzman versus Colby Covington, number two. Let's start with our guest. He's cutting weight right now, as you guys know. <laughs> and I feel like I don't want to lose him while he passes out. And so he has well. a Fender guitar in the background. True, and a green screen that he uses <laughs> sometimes, and a really dope piano. Uh, Vincent, Kamaru Zman, Colby Covington, give me your initial thoughts, and what do you think is going to happen? Um, I oh. think uh, I doubted Usman too many times, and I think I need to uh, go with him this time. I think uh, Colby's going to come out emotional. I think he's going to come out swinging, and I think Usman's going to do a lot of hugging and uh, control time. Mm, it's very different from the first fight, I think. Yeah. So you think this is going to be less of a striking match? I think it's going to be less of a striking match only because I think Usman knows what a danger Col- uh, Covington is. I'm one of those people, I think by now, it's, it seems like it's changed over time in the minority that thinks that Covington did way better in the first fight than a lot of people give him credit for. Mm-hmm. And I actually thought at the time he was going to pull it off and win. The Same. way that it was looking from my perspective before the ref uh, uh, stopped it, which I, I don't think he should have stopped. Um, mm. I think he could have fought with his jaw hanging off. Too. I mean, he made it that far. He might as well let him finish it. But uh, now I think Usman knows uh, what he's going to come forward with. He's had more time, more anger, uh, built up aggression. I think he's just going to want to hang on to his belt and he's going to get him against the cage and do what he does best. Which is because <laughs> oh. every time he throws hands, it's like, whoa, he can punch because he doesn't normally do that. He likes to hug people, keep them on the cage, control them. Uh, I think that's what he's going to do this time because Covington's a big threat. OK, that's a pretty juicy take. Alex, you're kind of smirking. You look like you're about to eat a cheesecake. What do you think? <laughs> I think Tell me uh, why Vincent's wrong. Vincent's wrong is because Kamaru ate everything that Kobe has to offer. He was like, he literally ate that shit up like it was sashimi. Like a, like a cheesecake. Okay? Like what? Sashimi. Like what? Sashimi. Sashimi. Okay. <laughs> uh, he ate everything from that guy. And listen, <laughs> when you watch the fights from that, that fight and Kamaru Usman and that fight and Kobe Covington, the next fight Kobe Covington looked exactly the same. Kamar Usman literally went when he went with Trevor Whitman. His striking is literally top-notch, top-level now. Mm. He's a lot smarter. Mm. He's way more balanced on his feet. In that fight, when he was throwing, he was off balance. He was in weird positions when he was throwing punches. Ever since when he's been working with Trevor Whitman, he's a lot more planted. Uh, I think Colby is going to try and wrestle Kamaru a lot more because he knows that Usman striking has gotten so much better and he knows the damage that Kamaru Usman can do. I think Kamaru Usman knocks him out in the second round. Whoa, that's different. A, that's, I like that. We got two tastes. Someone's hugging, someone's punching someone out in the second round. Nick, you may have to give us a juicier take. Also, try saying hey, he kind of got a trap on him now, too. Hey, um, I think this fight, I, I want to see these boys grapple a little bit more. I want to see him wrestle, but I feel like who has advantage? I I will say Kamaru has the advantage of the wrestling over oh. Colby because Colby's whole game is like he needs to he needs to apply a lot of pressure, 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 and he doesn't really like he uses his strikes to get in a lot in the transition. He relies on the transition from punching to that is true to the takedowns. It's like one, two, three, go for double. I, I feel like Kamaru is a bigger welterweight in general, and I feel like Colby is like also darker. Yeah, he he is darker. <laughs> if we're comparing complexions. Objectively speaking, he is darker. A just little like, bit. Just like how I am darker than Colby Covington as well. Uh, but I feel like Kamar is too good. He he has very good finishing ability with his hands. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we're going to see that happen. And I feel like he's only getting better. And Colby Covington is great. But I just feel like Kamaru is... Greater? He's, he's probably a better athlete. He probably has a better jump shot than Colby. Let's be real. But he doesn't have a better I bet you anything in this character. situation, he though, probably, I bet you... Character. A little hezzy. Hey, I think this is one of those situations where Colby would probably be better at basketball. No fucking way, bro. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know, 
Colby's probably better than basketball. <laughs> yeah. it's like when I first Colby, got- Colby, his jump shot is broke, dog. Bro, Colby is on my fantasy NBA team. And he's giving me so many points. How many right? boards are you getting? A hundred boards. <laughs> Uh, actually, that's a good point. It's kind of like when I saw John Jones like try to dunk. I was like, "Oh God!" This guy Do you ever sucks. see? Have you guys? If you guys watch The Office, when Stanley, when, yeah, he's like secret weapon, <laughs> right? And then Stanley comes out, and he's well, like, "Why? Get, why is he a secret get. weapon?" Because he was black. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Kamaru dude. Usman is Stanley when he plays basketball. And I bet Kamaru can play ball. I think he could play. No, but I, I feel better like, than Colby. I do feel like Colby. You don't think Colby is a baller? Come on. You I know, think I think he could throw a football really far. Did you guys watch the thing he on throw uh, a baseball around? You know what I mean? Did you guys watch the thing on Kamar Usman when he went back to Nigeria? They just I wanted released to watch it. That. I didn't watch it. So did he play re- basketball in there? No, he didn't. <laughs> it, but it's really cool. But it's funny. It's just funny to see, and I know why he does it because I do this when like I'm around like my Hispanic family and shit. But he was out there, like all of a sudden he was talking with like a strong. Nigerian accent. But that's yeah. what people do, though. That's like, what I mean. Like, when like I'm they, around my family, I'm like, and then when I'm not, I'm just, you know. <laughs> like, you're what? Like, when I'm around Nick, I'm like, whoa! Oh, get him back to him. And I say, like, hey, David, all right, so you get the <laughs> corporate meeting later. Yo, Bert, what's up, dude? Hey, remember when we went to Vegas and I kept doing this? Uh, guys, let's do our co-main event. Uh, by the way, I kind of want co. I am a big Kamaru Osman fan. I think he goes undefeated the rest of his career. But I do kind of want Kobe to win just so we can get a, a third one. I can go to that fight live. I'd I love to go. Honestly, to if Kobe wins, that'll be kind of fire. I don't think fire. he's gonna win though. I don't think, I don't so think but I don't that's think so. a really great storyline. Out of all the champions that are champions right now, out of all the champions that are champions, I feel like Kamaru has the the highest ceiling of keeping the belt the longest. And here's the thing I'm Lois, gonna say right now: Glover Shatera. You know how Shatera. you know how Shatera. a lot of us have Habib as number one. I think Kamaru is gonna eventually be the number one fighter in the world. I'll say this: I already put him over Habib. Yeah, I think I think he's gonna beat everybody. Well, I don't think hey, he beats. Vince, tell uh, tell your boy, bro. Don't do Asian face right now. Yeah, yeah. Don't you hey, dare wow, you saw whoa, whoa, Vince whoa, whoa, whoa. doing it. Like, oh, excuse me. He was like this. <laughs> Dude. He's like, y'all been eating too much lumpia. <laughs> <laughs> y'all been. <laughs> y'all guess that's what Filipinos say. Y'all been eating too much lumpia. <laughs> but why is that a hot take? Uh, Vince, why did you make the Asian face? Because I agree with you. I think I think this is a little premature, but I feel like eventually, yeah, Kamaru could. But right now, Abib's still number one, bro. I literally didn't say right now. I said hey, in I'm the looking future. at Gil, dude. I said right now. Yeah, I'm looking at Gil. You kind of wild enough for that one, though. No, because Habib, hey, uh, hey, you kind of bu- no, you bugging because Habib didn't <laughs> want had no balls to do. A, Whoa, uh, no, his had, mother, bro. Had, his no, mother no, said no, no had, more fighting. Had though. no had no balls to do a rematch tour like uh, Usman is about to do. He's about to risk it all right now doing a rematch. Tour. Yeah, yeah. But his mother didn't tell him to stop fighting. Here's the anymore. thing, though. Also, don't have a mother, <laughs> dude. Vince is going super. Oh my god, oh, no, he has COVID, guys. Bro. Chill. Oh, he's still oh, sick. That's COVID. He has COVID. Hey, symptoms of COVID, you turn Asian. Here's the thing, though. Kamaru and uh, <laughs> Colby, really close fight. Habib hasn't had a close fight. Hey, fight in the 170 division, then you'll get some close ones. I would love, what, what dude, imagine Habib and Kamaru Usman. His mother, bro. That's a fucking fight. That would be such a good fight. But they're best homies. They're not going to fight each other. So just give up. All right, let's go to the next fight because I've had it up on the screen for like 30 minutes now. Okay, guys, we got uh, co-main event. Let's do some quick picks on these. We have Rose Namunas no. versus uh, Vincent's earlier impression. <laughs> Whaley Jean. <laughs> So we'll start with Vincent since he was trying to allude to it earlier. Uh, do you have a Thug Rose? I think we know who, who he's picking. Or Wei Lee. Who you picking, uh, dude? Rose for sure. Oh. Uh, uh, she's gonna. Yeah, she's she's too. I said it before. I she's think great. it was the same. What if he starts pulling? That? <laughs> <laughs> she's too. <gasps> and I was he's like, like he's too. I think Wei Lee's gonna win. <laughs> it's just like That's fucked up, snap. dude. I think uh, Whaley is a, a rock'em sock'em. I think True. she's really good at that one thing, and Rose is just too fluid. Good point. Um, good point. Rose just has a crazy IQ and Pat just Barry. amazing movement, uh, crazy uh, mentality. I I think she's just like severely outclasses Whaley. Wow, that's a- and I like Whaley a lot. Oh yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> She's just garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and someone's got to take the basura outside. Uh, Alex, what do you got? Uh, I think uh, Rose is going gonna, is gonna to win again. I think it's going to be kind of like that, uh, the Ioana fights. How You guys hear that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hold on one second. All right. Let's still hear it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is, but let's keep going. Um, I think it's going to be like the Yuana fight. How the first fight she knocked her out, and the second fight was kind of more of like a closer say, fight. Dude. I think that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be a, a good fight, a closer fight. But I do think that Rose will eventually win by just being smarter, picking her apart, staying on the outside, kicking her, screaming that she's the best, and having Pat Barry in her corner. That's a good point. That's wow. a good point. And as soon as you pick. put your mic down, the sound goes away. Yep. Put it down. Uh, Nick, who you got? Quick, you pick. Um, I have the I had the exact same take as Alex, and we didn't even talk about it beforehand, so it's quite impressive. Um, but I feel like uh, I kind of want to see Wei Li Zhang get a W uh, for obvious reasons. Um, because I didn't like what's how, the reason? Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like how Rose was bringing up the communist stuff with with Wei Li Zhang. It's not like she's out here talking about communism wherever she. Oh, goes. you apparently don't follow her Reddit for. Hey, hey, also Does guys, she? remember <laughs> Wei Li Zhang is also now training with Henry Cejudo, and she cut her hair to be like Rose. Oh. She she honestly looks like a Chinese Henry Cejudo <laughs> with her haircut. They have the same haircut, bro. Me they have the same haircut. Come on, pull up on the no, edit. We don't have pull time. up two pictures. No, side side. we'll leave it at that. So Who you, you got? look like stupid. <laughs> you look like <laughs> stupid. Uh, I spilled my drink earlier. Here's why you guys are all wrong. And Nick Rihanna said it already. She got a haircut. Why do you think she got hit by the round kick? The ponytail was in the way. She was blocking her eyes, and she thought she did. She thought it was to the legs. So you know what? I'm gonna go with Zhang on this. All right, uh, lightweight fight. We have Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Y'all already know who I'm picking. One of the greatest fighters of this generation. Also <laughs> really good at paying his employees. I'm gonna go with Michael Chandler. <laughs> That's some insider baseball for you guys. Uh, Vincent, who do you got? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Chandler. I think fist bump uh, to the screen. <laughs> Boom. And that's what I call COVID knuckles. Look how wrinkly those are. <laughs> Put some lotion think, on, dude. I think uh I think Justin and Wei Lee is a good matchup. I think the, <laughs> there's two rock'em sock'em people right there, people that just like to um stay on the feet and be careful and earn a reputation that way, just really being brawlers. And some people love that, and you get a lot of fans that way. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> But even Tony Ferguson, broken down, beat up, worn out, end of the road, riding into the sunset, no talent left, Tony Ferguson. Oh, shit. When he was fighting <laughs> Gaethje, he was piecing him up. And it's like, this guy is, is even, like, he knocked him out, like, kind of like the end of the first round or whatever that was. And it's like, mm-hmm. hey, hold on, which fight did you watch? No, I, <laughs> Tony, Tony Ferguson won't piece it up. No one. <laughs> I, just, I guess I'm just really packing it into that last second and a half of the first round. <laughs> but um, I, I just look at uh, Michael Chandler like, I, I don't know, Gaethje's getting very um, caught up and distracted by uh, all the things around him, like how he got so heated about DC talking about this and then the promos talking about People um, uh, not having faith in him now and disrespecting yeah. him, and he should be the get, the one getting the title. Seems it's uncharacteristic like, of him a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's weird. I, I, it's a completely different side of him, and it seems like something has like gotten to him. Where Michael Chandler is like, I'm just happy to be here. I'm finally at the at the main stage, mm. and he's just like in the right state of mind. It seems like the dude is so explosive. Uh, so fast, so technical, and he won't hesitate to go on the ground. Gaethje's one of those guys where we could talk about his wrestling all day, but he doesn't like to wrestle. So I, I got yeah. Chandler. There we go. Uh, okay. What do you guys got? What are your um, I think Michael Chandler's fake. I think <laughs> oh, all these shit. emotions that he feels like, oh, I'm so happy to be here. I'm just so grateful is fake. Oh, shit. I think you, don't think he's, you think he's ungrateful. Charles Oliveira <laughs> knocked this man out, okay? I, I'm telling you right now, he dance? Justin Gaethje <laughs> is going to literally put this guy to fucking sleep. I'm telling you right now. What if he doesn't? Justin Gaethje's get- striking is so fucking good. His wrestling takedown defense. Every, he has wrestling takedown defense. It's just when anybody fights Habib, it doesn't matter who the fuck they are. They're getting taken down. Does not fucking matter. Okay. He beats the fuck out of Michael Chandler. <laughs> Michael Chandler, like I said before, is going to be like Ben Askren. I'm to He's going to win that first fight. Put your money where your mouth is. Let's put a bet right now. $50. Let's go. Uh, I sanctioned this. And I'm a notary. so this M- is Michael Chandler is going to be the Ben Askren. He's going to win his first fight and lose all the other ones after that. Oh, shit. Okay? He's losing against Justin Gaethje. He's getting Askren? And then after he loses to get Justin Gaethje, I hope they give him fucking... Uh, fucking Connor or something, so Connor can beat him up too. Because I think Connor oh, beats Michael what Chandler. Is, what is this take? I think I think that's actually pretty tight. I feel like if 
Michael Chandler gets knocked out by Justice Gaethje, which I think will happen, then I think Connor Michael Chandler is an electrifying first round. Because the only reason why I feel like Michael Chandler is cardio. Oh, he's giving you, you can scan only, my Venmo so you can pay me 50 now. You want to put that to the screen right now so everyone can see? Um, I feel like uh, he only has one to maybe one and a half rounds in him. So uh, I feel like Justin Gaethje, he looks a little more like he's cleaned up his style a little bit. And I feel like he can fight with chaos, but I think he's going to win. I think he's only good when he gets to use Trevor Whitman's gloves. When he has to put the UFC ones, he he's like, laughs. what are these? He's confused. I mean, he's yeah, he literally, oh, you guys, I can't wait till fucking Michael Chandler's like, like supermaning on the fucking floor on Saturday. Oh, you mean he's supermaning off the cage doing his backflip? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to drive, I'm going to drive up to Vincent and we're going to celebrate. We're going to watch it in the at middle Vincent's of his house. TO's dinner. Uh, guys, we have a featherweight fight right below that. This is a barn burner. Uh, we got Shane Burgos, who we all love, versus Billy Quarantatillo. How do you guys? I got Shane Burgos. I'm going to keep this one simple. Shane Burgos, I think he wins. I'm going to ditto with Alex after I took his $50 in the previous fight. I'm going to go Shane Burgos on that as well. I would like to go Shane Burgos, but just because I want to see an underdog win, good. I'm going to go Billy Quarantillo because he's on a great run and he's looking pretty good. I I think Shane Burgos is a little too much for him, but uh, I would like to see Billy come out with the W. And from far away, it looks like a grandmaster. Exactly. (laughs) Vincent, who you got? I got Quarantillo because Quarantillo. after he wins, I wanted I wanted to seem like like I knew something. You know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Burgos so like, how did, he, how did he know? <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows fights. Like, that pinchy fool. <laughs> and guys, I kind of like this fight. This next one, this is a uh, little do or die for Frankie Edgar, I believe, and also for Marlon Vera is a good name on his resume. So, Alice, who do you got? Um, I think uh, I think Frankie's gonna win this fight. Nice. Um, I think Frankie, I think we've seen when someone can control Cheeto on the floor, a.k.a. Mm. Jose Aldo, oh, wow. he can't really do too much. And I think that's Frankie's game plan. I think wow. Cheeto can put people away, but it takes a lot. He's not like that one, you know, one tap mm. put to sleep guys like Hank Frankie has fought. Um, so I do think Frankie's going to win this fight by a decision. Nick, That's actually a great take. And that actually made me re-question my take. But I'm going to go Marlon Vera. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, uh, Grandmaster. Grandmaster. I'm going to go with Edgar. Um, why? 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 I really, I really want him to win because uh, I always think of <laughs> that, that story way. where he like tells his, his son that he wanted to fight like he wanted to prove to him like a, the little guy can beat the bigger guys or something like that. Have you ever heard that before? You know what? I'm going Frankie Edgar. Oh my god! Yeah, it, it always this makes guy. me like want to root for him because yeah. I always think about his boy watching him lose, and I'm like, not again. That's still so my I boy. Want, yeah, yeah. I, I want him to win, and then Marlon. I, I usually root for him, but Chito. I was just really disappointed in in the last. Uh, not the last two exactly, but the last couple somewhere in there that went mm. to decision. It just seemed like he didn't have heart or something to really he pull it mad. off for the cardio or something. It just like, yeah, it, got it, was, back like, it was, it was, like, it was yeah. disappointing. So yeah. I think he said, that's not cool. We can't, we can't, we're not that kind of show. We don't do that. Stuff, we don't right. do that here, guys. I'm sorry. I, uh, I think you guys are all wrong, but also all right. I go Frankie Edgar. Yeah, we're going Frankie, guys. Oh, no, Nick chose Cheeto. No, you, no, no. you said Cheeto first. You can't take it back. No, I take it back, bro. I, I flip flop all the you're time. You're wearing That's a Perillo thing. boxing fanny pack. Relax. Is that really? Oh. Oh. You believe just this guy? That would have been cool, though. Perillo uh, or fucking... Uh, what's all right, guys. Let's, wrap, let's wrap this up. There's a lot of great prelims, so I'll allow everyone here to do one shout-out prelim if you'd like. I like Quinta Bobby Green. Done. I agree with the same one. Um, Quinta I thought it retired. That's crazy. Scroll up. Scroll up. Alex Pieta versus oh, yeah. the Andreas Micheladios, whatever. Mich- Michelada. Alex Michelada. Pereira is the guy that knocked out Izzy yep. in kickboxing. Yep. He is in now MMA. in UFC. He is coming. He's coming full force. Um, I think, I don't think he's going to make it to Izzy. I'll say that right now because I, wow. Izzy's been doing MMA a lot more. Um, he has to go through killers like Derek Brunson and shit like that. I just, you know, Izzy's different, but if he can make it to him and get to Izzy, man, that's a fucking fly. Vincent. Any yeah, shout outs? Same fight, Pereira. I'm, ex- I'm excited. To, I guess I'm going to miss it the night of, but I want to see it after the fact. Edmund Shabaznian versus uh, Imamov. Shabazzian, that's a Glendale. That's a good boy. fight. Let's go. That's a good fight too. 
Um, guys, that is our fight card, uh, our quick pick picks. I hope those helped you because those are accurate as usual. Um, any final thoughts with quick pick on Canelo or plant? I'm going to go with the underdog for some weird reason. Plant dude, come on. Plant plant. Couldn't even hit him standing right in front of him with Canelo's hands and down. That's why I like him because he kind of set that up. It's almost like a setup for the actual fight. Yeah. Like he already beat him in his head. Like Canelo's gonna go out there, like man, I already beat this fool at the press conference, and then he's gonna get knocked out. That's what you're hoping for. I agree, uh, Vincent. And how much more weight are you trying to lose, and so we can help you? Um, about thirty five pounds. Hey, no more sweatsuits, bro. <laughs> is those. that is that actually a sweatsuit, or is that just a that's jacket? for sure a sweatsuit? It's sweatsuit. Oh no, yeah, it's it's my sauna suit. I go oh, okay. I go running and doing stuff. I put like three four trash bags under it. And then I have this, and then that's uh, kind of a waste of trash bags, though, no? Yeah, <laughs> trash bags are expensive, bro. Are they the Are they the ones that smell good with Febreze? Hell yeah! No, oh, hey. no we, we stop playing with Fabuloso. Those <laughs> Fabuloso. <laughs> I have those ones right now at home. The Fabuloso ones. It's like purple. Those are nice. They smell good, bro. Got, they got some of Fabuloso. Hell yeah! What the sure. fuck, right, guys? Man. This episode was not brought to you by Fabuloso, but Manscaped. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, hey Vincent, do you have a Manscaped to shave your hairy ass ball sack? Um, I uh, why are you smell like that? It's like you and your wife did something weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that same look that we fell in love. It's the again. same. It's the same look you did. We were falling. All- He's like Ashley. It looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm not a Ashley. consumer. I have to admit. Oh, your eyes roll back. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah. it's like, no, I don't use Manscaped. I use Ridge Wallet. From the coach <laughs> yeah. next time. Hey, I want to, hey, Ridge Wallet, sponsor us. I want a new wallet, but I want the black one. Or just, or just <laughs> buy one from Vince and support his show. Yeah, that's dog. true. I'll do that, Vince. Promo I got code you. Uh, Mexican martial What's arts. the promo code for you for Ridge Wallet? Voto, V O T O. Also, change that. Voto. They didn't, they didn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I uh, think because it was already established. I don't know. Vince, thanks for being here. Uh, guys, once again, you can follow Alex at Live God, myself at Gilbert's, Nick, Nick the Ear, and Vincent. You know where to go. It's Mexican martial arts where all the real and made journalism happens. Yeah. Um, do we hope your daughter wins your volleyball game? Uh, I hope you, I applaud you on your weight loss journey. Alex is doing one too. Me as well. Nick I is am. actually trying to gain weight, mostly muscle. Uh, and um, I love all of you guys here. Love you. I love all of you guys here. I love you guys. I love all of you guys here. The more you say it, the less like sincere it feels. Goodbye. <laughs>